This is a recently acquired OS48 Surpass engine. Um, I just went through it, took it all apart. I didn't replace the bearings, but uh, it seems like I'm going to need to do that because it's pretty loud when it runs. But I just thought I'd clean it up real quick, put it together, and put it on the bench and run it. The subject of this video is something that happened by quite by accident, but I figured this would be a good instructional video, which is how to identify how a four-stroke engine operates or doesn't operate properly when it has an air intake leak. So I had mounted this engine on my test stand and I was having some issues getting fuel to draw into the carb for priming and it wasn't running right. Uh, I quickly determined that I had left one of the intake mount screws loose and there was a gap here which was causing the air leak in the engine as you'll see in this picture. So I noticed that when it was on the bench, but I thought I'd bring this in here now and kind of illustrate things that you can look for when you think you might have an air leak. Or your engine isn't operating properly and these are some symptoms you can look for for a possible air leak in your intake system. So one of the first things you want to look for if you have, you think you have an air intake leak is when you go to prime the engine, I know I'm doing this on the table and I usually do it on the bench, but however you prime your engine, whether you hold the exhaust port or what, you always should have the throttle fully open and cover either the exhaust port or the carb opening, which is what I do. And if you notice for some reason that fuel, and see how simply all I had to do was just lightly brought this prop and it started drawing fuel. If you start rotating the prop and holding it like that and you see that no fuel is coming in there, that is a clear indication that you've got an air leak somewhere in your carb system, carb intake. So it could either be at the junction of your intake manifold to the engine or you might have a bad o-ring on your carb. Maybe even you have a missing or really bad o-ring in the needle valve assembly that's not allowing enough suction pressure to be built to actually suck fuel in there. See, now the whole fuel line is full of fuel, so I'm drawing fuel into the intake, and if I just leave it like this, it's, it holds, it's not draining back. That's a sign of a good seal.